Good morning, my lovelies. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing 10 tricks that I use all the time for thin, fine hair. And this video is for you if you have fine hair, obviously, if you aging or you're premenopause and you're losing your hair, or if you just don't have much hair but you don't want to show it. <laughs> Hello, if you're new, my name is Frédéric. Uh, welcome to my world. I talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle with a French twist. So please, if you haven't done yet, I will love and really appreciate if you could consider to subscribe by clicking here, click, click, click. Don't forget the notification bell and uh, it would be fantastic. And give me a thumbs up, big, big fat thumbs up. I'm sure this video is going to help you. Thank you. Obviously, as you know, ladies, when we aging, we are losing hair. Plus, personally, I've been diagnosed with an autoimmune disease um, seven years ago called Hashimoto. If you never heard about it, is a B. One of the symptoms when you have it, outside of having extreme dry skin and chronic fatigue and a pass and a pass and a pass, you will shed your hair. So I lost probably 40% of my hair. I completely freaked out. Uh, I could, plus I'm a brunette, so if you're a brunette, you know if you lose your hair, it's everywhere. I'm on medication for the rest of my life. My hair grow back, kind of, but it never came back to normal. But I still want to love my hair. So my first tip about having a bit of a volume will be to use a volume cream. So this one I'm showing you right now on the screen, uh, it was a gift and I don't use it all the time, but I use it on white hair, putting a bit everywhere, especially at the base. And that it looks like right now, this, what you see on the video is when I've done my hair this morning. So you can tell it's not totally flat. I'm not crazy about voluming crazy big hair. I wish, but I'm not having it. So I think I just get used to, to have thin hair and I just have to deal with it. But there are some tips and tricks that we can play a bit around that we pretend to have a lot of hair. <laughs> I'm going to use the word hair a lot in this video, so brace yourself. I'm a vitamin junkie, so I take a lot of vitamin in the morning. One of you ladies, actually few, last year we were talking about hair and dry skin and fragile nails, and they said, have you tried biotin? And actually I haven't, and since I'm not taking all year round, but I'm doing those type of pure of vitamins, and I take biotin. So it does does help to I think it does help because my hair is still very healthy my nails are a little bit more harder for my skin I'm not sure because I look a lot after my skin but I definitely can see a difference in my hair so if you don't know this one try biotin and another thing when you take a lot of vitamins like me I always put on the top of the lid I took the number because I don't want to wear my glasses all the time so I always said I know that I have to take two vitamin C for example or one biotin every day just a tip. The easy one, and I've done that since I'm a kid, especially in the 80s when big hair was very fashionable, remember that? Oh my gosh, photos. Um, is to dry your hair upside down. I did it this morning plus the volume cream and it does help to give me a bit of volume. So it's a very easy trick. If you're hairdresser, please leave me a comment. What do you think about this trick? And anyway, actually, but anyone who's watching this video, if I didn't talk about all the tricks about fine hair, but you have a very good one or if you like this video please leave me a comment i would like to know we will like to know thank you also you can trick with your fine hair to have a proper haircut so i read a lot of things i've seen a lot of videos and again i am not a hairdresser but i know for example when i do my bob uh, because my hair is super thin, we know that. I always ask to cut my hair in a blunt way. So I don't want some layers, I don't want all those things. I just want super, super straight to a point when she cut my hair wet, I know when it's drying up, it's bouncing back a bit. I'm always said, give me enough uh, length that I can still do even a tiny ponytail and it's ridiculous it looks like a, a rat tail but at least I can attach my hair when I wash my face and it's still super clean and on top of that even if I wear sometime my hair on the side I do in the middle at the hairdresser because I want super straight on both sides and then I'm waiting that when she's drying my hair 
and then I ask her to straighten my hair and to recut a little bit just to be sure it's super super blunt. I don't have the proper haircut today to show you that because first I'm playing a bit with my hair and I'm planning to go to the hairdresser next week because as you can tell my hair is growing super fast. It's summertime and my hair always grows much faster in summer. Am I the only one? Is your hair grow faster in summer? Please let me know, I want to know. <laughs> Another one as well is sometimes just to play with your hair and in, we said in French froisser les cheveux just to give a bit of volume or get a bit of waving thing you know it doesn't have to be scruffy and crazy but try to as well do that a bit and if you lose your hair most of the time it can be on the crown but it can be as well for me I have a very big forehead and I have big holes on the side so the thing I do most of the time is hiding it by having a sweat bank which really not today because I play a bit too much with the volume but you can have a sweat band just to hide a bit you stupid baby hair that I hate but you know what I'm dealing with it it's hair so it's more it's better than nothing but having a bit of hiding on the side then your face look a little bit slimmer another trick you can ask to your hairdresser it's more like an optical effect is to have a balayage so it's a French word and every time when people do not speak French and they say this word, I'm like, oh yeah, they say balayage. I don't know with your English accent, I'm sorry, I just don't know what you say. But balayage is coming from ballet, which is sweeping. So balayage is when they, tend some, <clears throat> they take some part of your hair, they do a different color, even if, for example, I'm a brunette, quite dark, they can do a bit dark, little bit lighter, not blonde and black, obviously. But apparently as well, if they thicker, they give you much more dimension. So when you do that, please be sure you know your hairdresser, you trust your hairdresser. If you know what I'm talking about, watch this video about French women never had bad, day, bad hair day, which was a joke by the way, but it was a very popular video, so it will be linked below. But having a balayage will give you a bit of a texture and a bit of a movement as well. And people will think you have this crazy beautiful hair when actually you don't. Another one, uh, personally, I only wash my hair. I try maximum twice per week because I think when you wash too much your hair, it really removes the natural oil which nourish your hair. But if sometimes, so usually we a day two or three, my hair starts to get greasy, then either way I put at the back as a ponytail but sometimes I have to go out and I don't want to wash and blah 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 so I'm using simply a dried shampoo dried shampoo are really cheap sometimes they're really white so when you burn it like me but you shake it shake it shake it it will absorb the oil and if you do that with the head again upside down it will give you a bit of a volume so dry shampoo it's a really good trick okay another one that I really love it do, you don't have to be a brunette, okay? But if you have thicker, darker eyebrows, it's gonna give you this hair connection somewhere and it's gonna look like your face is fuller, not fuller in volume, but because you have hair here. If, if you have, for example, your eyebrows are very thin, it's not going to be super inviting about the volume of your hair. I have like really nice eyebrows, well designed and a bit fuller. I need to touch up mine. Yes, I do microblading my eyebrows, but I only do once per year and I'm gonna do mine soon because they get a bit thinner. I have a lot of scars to hide. <laughs> But to this morning when I did my makeup, I put a little bit of a crayon. I'm not crazy. I spent literally 10 seconds on my eyebrows because the lady who's microblading my eyebrows helped me to get my natural shape again and I'm not touching anymore. I'm just removing a bit the hair underneath and between my eyes because I'm an airy beast. But this is how I'm keeping those beautiful eyebrows. So think eyebrows girls if you think thick hair. Think thick hair. <laughs> your haircut is quite short um, like mine you need to maintain it because soon your hair start growing obviously they don't grow at the same time together and like oh we're gonna grow fantastically super straight they don't do that as you know so you need to maintain this if you want obviously this blunt one as well I heard that some haircut works better for fine hair so for example a bob with a blunt one as well try to avoid having texture in your hair you know when those hairdressers grab your hair and the razor and start to slashing like that it's probably not slashing and feel like I'm like no 
No, it's not slashing, but shaving your hair. You don't want that because when they do that, even they give it like a very nice design in your hair, it's gonna remove all the volume. But saying that, if you have short, very short haircut, and at the back, you can do a bit of a short end as well and give a bit of this volume, that's you test. I'm never gonna tell you which type of haircut you should have because that's totally you. But I know a friend of mine, really close friend of mine, she has very long hair and very, very fine. To a point sometime when she's attaching them, you can see a big gap and you can see the scalp. And that will be not my recommendation. When you have long hair and it's still thin, it doesn't look good because when you grab your hair, you can see through. It doesn't look super, super good. So maybe think about having like even long, a blunt one if you really want to have a long hair. And you know what, at the end of the day, embrace your hair, ladies. We born with it. I would love to be blonde with curly hair. Uh, I love uh, those black women who have those crazy hair all the time, this volume, those curly, you know, whatever your style. And I heard as well, you can have curly and thin hair. Wow, that must be, that must be tricky. So in this video, I just want to give you my tricks. Did you like it? Yes, yes, we like it, so please, Thumbs up, subscribe, don't forget to leave me a comment if you know another trick about giving a bit of a volume without looking like a big Karen haircut, if you see what I mean, okay, we're not in the 80s anymore, thanks God. I hope you appreciate this video, I give you a big kiss, and thank you so much for watching, I'll see you to the next video, ciao ciao!